everybody. So today we're going to have a little fun. Um, I think it was last year when Bush Light Apple came out. There were a lot of uh, like Facebook, Instagram, all those kind of posts where they were taking Bush Light Apple and putting a shot of Crown Royal Apple in it. Um, and I thought I had Crown Royal Apple because I was doing all those Guinness with you know, uh, other whiskeys and all that kind of stuff. And I thought I had one and I didn't, it's vanilla, which I still have to do a Guinness and uh, Crown Royal vanilla version. But, uh, so I was at the store, I picked this one up. And so this is what we're going to try. We were actually, we were at a get together a couple months ago and when Bush Light Apple came back out and uh, they also thought they had Crown Royal Apple and they didn't, so we were going to try it there. So, obviously, I've already done a Bush Light Apple. It is good between Natterdays and this. It's back and forth. I've got a 30 pack of both of them. It's just easy, light drinking, not going to ruin your palate. Pretty much, I can drink on them all day long from, you know, Saturday to Sunday and be fine. This could be a different story. Story. So, Let's go ahead. Oh, there isn't a thing. I thought there was a cross. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go half. Um, half the shot glass. And then we'll see if we had to add more. Because uh, with the very first um, Guinness and Screwball that I did, I think I did a half of that bottle. I think that was a shot. I did half of it. That wasn't enough. So then I put the other half in there. So just so I don't spill or whatever, we'll just put half up to there in there. That's probably a little bit more than half, but that's fine. So I'm going to pour that in here first. So when we pour the Bush Light Apple in there, it'll mix it up. And I've never had the apple version. I've had the peach smells like apple. So let's go ahead and dump this in there. See what we get. Whew, I can smell it though. There we go. Color doesn't look different or anything. I'm guessing if anything, it's a touch, touch, touch different. Like you can see my face in that. That's kind of scary in there. Um, yeah, I would say it's the same. The, the, the Crown Royal Apple is a little darker, um, but ah, there's, there's enough uh, in 12 ounces versus what I put in there. I don't think the color difference is going to be that much. Let's smell. I definitely get more of an apple, but I think... Let's smell. I don't, obviously, smelling the Crown Royal Apple, you get more of that whiskey smell with some apple underneath. But with this, you get more of that apple, um, but that whiskey, and that's what I was trying to smell, you are getting a touch of that whiskey. It, uh, I mean, obviously, it almost smells kind of like very diluted versus what the actual bottle smells like but it's it's there okay let's go ahead and taste definitely Like, Bushlight Apple has kind of a bite to it. This doesn't. Like, it's more apple, like, kind of, I almost want to say, like, green apple, but not sour. It, it, it almost, like, mellows out that apple bite that the regular Bushlight has, but you can't taste it.
like yeah that apple it's like a it's like eating a green apple but very subdued but you know it's apple i don't know if i like it more or not i kind of like that tangy tanginess of a regular bush light apple I mean, obviously, you could put more in there. Um, I don't know how much more I want to put in there. And it's not going to... We'll put that much. Because I almost want it... I would almost want, like, a... I don't know if they make, like, Crown, Crown Royal Caramel. Like, if you mixed like a shot of this with the, the caramel, if they had it, then put it in here. I think that would be really good. I mean, how far do we want to go with this? We could put vanilla in there, but I'm not sure. I think you'd have to add something else, almost like a, a warm apple pie with ice cream, the vanilla would do. Okay, let's see this one. I think that's better. You still don't get that bite though. That bite from a regular from the regular bush light apple um, isn't there. It's like that that whiskey is canceling it out, but it still brings out the apple. Like I want caramel, like a a, a caramel sucker, an apple caramel sucker. That's kind of what I want. Just um, it wouldn't be a sour. You, you still get that apple. So I think that apple is still on the same level. Okay. On that one, I did get a little bit more of that whiskey. But that apple still there. Even in the aftertaste, that apple really comes out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, now, I, I mean, obviously, I didn't get to mix that second one up, but I, I think that's better. You do get a little kickback of the whiskey in the aftertaste, so if you don't like that, I would say do half a shot per 12 ounces, like I did the first time, and you're not going to get that. That's mixed up enough in there, um, but adding that extra little, it, it did bring out that apple a little bit more, but the whiskey flavor is starting to take over. I mean, this is, what, 4.2%? 4.1. So it's light, uh, but I think it has a heavier um, apple flavor, so that could help in this. But, yeah, you are getting a little bit of that whiskey. I could see um, drinking a lot of these. I should try it with the Bud Light Apple Crisp. I might do that after this. I'm supposed to go mow, so I hope I can mow my line straight. Um, that's pretty good. If you tried this, uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. And if you enjoyed this video, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.